What's up, y'all? What's going on, everybody? It is time for I'm Alan Partridge, S1E5, to kill a mocking Alan. Interesting. And Alan has already done a lot of his mocking already, so how can he get more mockery than what he's already done? He, he sets the bar, man. This man ha is slowly becoming one of my idols in <laughs> multimedia broadcasting. I'm looking up to him. Give me something this entertaining. Right? If if this, if, if, I swear to God, the more I see this, I have no idea how badly I want this to be real. I'm with you there. You ready? Yeah, hey, let's do it, man. All right, three, two, one. That was orchestral maneuvers in the dark with some classic electro rock from their album, Architecture and Morality. Two subjects I'm sure we could discuss all night. The lines are open if you want to call, make a comment on either architecture or morality to equally hot but uh, differently shaped tatoes chips and crinkle cut chips so give me a call please seriously though do give me a call it's 4 50 a.m the queen is dead long live the king singers tell me you're desperate for viewers without telling me oh man no wonder he didn't get a second series <laughs> right oh god just pop your elbow on there you lock the doors, sometimes you don't want to. Now, we've had several calls during the last few hours about a humorous comment I made some time ago. Just to reassure you, the Queen is not dead. It was a humorous <laughs> intro into a song which seems to have been taken a bit too literally by uh, one or two listeners and the newspaper. Uh, just repeat, paper. Queen Elizabeth II is not dead, unless she went in the night and is yet to be discovered by the Oh, man. my God. <laughs> just coming up to sound. Bok, get zoop! <laughs> Oh, when this is jailbroken for YouTube, uh, I can see the comments already. Oh, man. Oh, my God. That's uh, crazy. In a newspaper. Oh, shit. God. Imagine if this came out during the time of social media. <laughs> God. Yeah. Dude, I keep forgetting. How old is this thing? 2000 the, something? The 90s. 90s? I think. Okay. Wow. I couldn't yeah. imagine if it came out today. I mean, there's a whole, whole, whole other reasons why you can't come out today, but let's not get on our soapbox. Yeah, no, I don't even have it in this room yet. <laughs> I pawned mine off because <laughs> yeah. uh, Christmas. There you go. Fair enough. It's the noble Sir David Clifton of Radio Shire. <laughs> Good morning to you, sir. <laughs> Arise, Sir Alan of Partridge. Yeah. Should, we, should we stop talking in this medieval way? Uh, yes. What's on your show today, Dave? <laughs> right, get dialing. If you want to uh, try and cross the uh, Clifton suspension quiz, the prize money has soared to an incredible £11,000. So, uh, just to remind you of... The sexy. <laughs> Yes. Sorry. I didn't know you cared, Alan. No, 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 no. <laughs> that was uh, OAP, old Alan Partridge. But old. I'm 43, you cheeky git. And this is the Oyster Cult from the album Agents of Fortune. The way that uh, this other DJ is going, I would want to go. Yeah. Pretty much. Don't fear the Reaper. Him. Fear Alan Partridge when you talk shit about him. 100%. You don't get into a, a, a word, word exchange with Alan Partridge. You won't win. Exactly. You won't win. <laughs> The chances of anything coming from Mars are a million to one. I won it, but still they can't. Hey, War of the Worlds. W wild Woods? <laughs> no, no, War of the Worlds. I'm playing Guess the Tune. Oh, War of the Worlds, that's right. Yes. So what do you reckon? 3 p.m. an afternoon with Alan Partridge with special celebrity guest star Sue Cook. Can you just put plus Sue Cook? I suppose the good thing about this is uh, you can't hear your Geordie accent on the board. You should turn this into a sandwich board and you could press onto your chest what you're trying to say. It's sort of a primitive form of uh, Stephen Hawking's voice box. The good thing about Stephen Hawking is he is clear. Oh, it's you, isn't it? You're Alan Partridge. Yes, I am. Oh, I don't believe it! I'm your biggest fan. Oh. Look, I'm coming to your, to your afternoon. I've got oh. my tickets. Shake my hand. There you go. <laughs> but, but what's it about then, Alan? It's basically a TV show that's not on TV. Really? Uh, it's like Kilroy, but with tea, wagon wheels and Sue Cook. Oh, brilliant! <laughs> I can't tell you what a pleasure it is to shake your hand. Well, I can see that. You're obviously long. enjoying yourself. You're not going to let it go, are you? No. Can <laughs> have it back? Yeah. <laughs> it's so nice that you let your friends have a chance to meet you. A lot of them don't. Oh. Now, they forget that it's fans like us that make you what you are. 
Uh, I don't actually agree with that. But, uh, <laughs> I know some people do, but I, I don't. I couldn't ask you for your autograph. <laughs> yes, certainly. What's your name? Oh, uh, that's a touchy little subject uh, right there. <clears throat> Did we get here because of people or because of an algorithm? Well, I, I, it's, it's a people-driven algorithm. People-driven algorithm. And, and I, but you know what though? It's what happens is, you know what? You're right. The soapbox is gone, guys. Can't get on it. Yeah, Thank you. We love either. each and every yeah, one of you guys. We love each and every one of you. Uh, <laughs> Especially here on Patreon. Uh -huh. You guys rock. That's for damn sure. Y'all are the best. We love you each, each and every day. Yeah. YouTube, that's the Wild West. You guys <laughs> crazy. You guys crazy. Exactly. Exactly. F YouTube. <laughs> Maxwell. Oh, Jed Maxwell. Listen to Robert Maxwell. No? You're not going to go all fat and steal my pension. No? <laughs> Just a joke. <laughs> So Actually, could you ask me for this later in front of some important people? You've done it now. But it just says to Jeb Maxwell from Alan. It's better. It sounds like you know me. Look right there. Jeb Maxwell from Alan Smith. You never heard of him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm expecting two television executives from RTE who are coming over from Dublin. We're going to be brunching in there. You can shake your hand again. No, you've had enough of that. Now, it would make me look very important if you would ask for my autograph in front of them. You shake my hand later. Oh, never you mind, Alan. You can rely on me. Thank you. It's Alan Partridge. I can't believe it. Oh, you haven't lost it, Alan. Uh, I don't care what they say. <laughs> See you later. What? Right. Uh, Susan. Hmm. So, first of all, I thought that guy was the other DJ at first, but now I'm looking, it's like two completely different guys. So, it's a different person altogether. In the beginning, I was like, oh, this is weird. Cool. But now it's like even more creepy. It's just a random guy that's a fan of Alan Partridge. That's terrifying when you're part of something that's not really big, right? You're part of Radio Norwich. Which, uh, and he's a DJ at, I guessing, between the hours of 4 a.m. and 5 a.m. or something. He said 4.50 a.m. And so it's like, who are you making fa Who are your fans? Bro, run. Because that's, those are the people that go bump in the night. Yes, 100%. And they bump mm -hmm. back. Yes, not in good ways. That's a nice smell. Is that new perfume? Yes, it is. Oh, that's very nice. What is it? Well, my fiancé bought it. Yeah, I didn't ask you who bought it for you. I just asked, <laughs> asked you what it is. It's Ralph Lauren. Oh. Can I have a sniff? Yeah, sure. Oh, Actually, sorry, I shouldn't touch members of staff unless I'm reprimanding them. And then I'll put you across my knee and smack your bare bottoms. Oh, there was a call for you. A Mr. Nesshead rang. Right. Never heard of him. Did it even first name? No, it was just a Mr. P. Nesshead. <laughs> so, that's a crank call. Come on, guys. That's the oldest one in the book. Uh, Let, let's like bend over. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Oh, God. Awesome. <laughs> Nesshead. <laughs> Who? Mr. P. Dot Nesshead. What? <laughs> P. Nesshead. Oh, you <laughs> son of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Another crack. Read it back to yourself. Oh, yeah. I can see what he's. What he's done now. Right. Shall I put it on the list with all the others? If you would. Mm. Actually, can I have a look at that list? I want to get to the bottom of this. Mr. G String, Nick Kerr's wife, wife front. Mr. T Osser. It doesn't even work. <laughs> Mr. B Oddy. This is Bill Oddy. <laughs> what a crank call. Why, why have you put it down there? Well, we thought it looked like body. What's rude about a body? Tits. Good morning, Sophie. Good morning, Ben. Did you sleep well? Yeah. It was a good night last night, wasn't it? If you're professional and you're working in the morning, then uh, you would have got your head down about midnight. I got my head down, all right. Ah. I've had some pretty late night sessions myself. In 1976, I uh, saw ELO at the Birmingham NEC. I was there shouting with everyone else, come back on ELO and carry on playing. Alan, your PA's arrived. Oh, right. Lynn, let me take that. Oh. Right, uh, Alan Parsons, tie and blazer badge and the wagon wheels. Excellent. Here you go. <laughs> what the f oh, Can I take that for you? Oh. I'm very thoughtful. I'll take it. This will happen to you when you hit 40. It's cutting into my fingers. Oh, I'm so sorry. Can you smell my breath? Oh, it smells a bit like gas. Oh. You know what that is, don't you? No. It's those Scotch eggs we had at the petrol station. Uh, what time was that? Oh, about quarter to 11. Yeah, oh. it's, it's going to be in the system till about four. Yeah. Right. Oh, well, I'll, I'll buy a packet of mints. Great. Yes. Excuse me, Alan, there's an urgent call for you. Right, you got up, Liv. Hello? Well, right. Well, where are you? What? Oh, come on! Oh, that's bang out of order! Oh, look in the mirror! What, pardon? 
But no, I, no, I've got a better idea. Why don't you shove it up your ass? Sue Cox pulled out. <laughs> Sue Cox. Uh, that's the person you're supposed to meet, right? The celebrity. Oh, c celebrity. Yeah. I didn't even think about that at first. Who? The celebrity. The, yeah. the what, 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 whatever his his name is that was writing on the board or put put on the board. Oh God, no. Michael, change that to an afternoon with just Alan Partridge. Oh, what's your note? <laughs> well, not on shortwave radio. That is quite eye-catching. I suppose that's the opposite of what you were taught in the camouflage. Aye, well, I also done this course at the Army School of Commando Training, and what we had to do was well, target identification, right? And you had to gun into this big building, right, full of people, and you had to identify the hostages and the terrorists and take out the terrorists. <laughs> I've sort of employed it here, like. Yeah. I know exactly what you mean, because a couple of weeks ago I was doing a corporate for Allied Dunbar. Afterwards, a, a, a bunch of us went down to Laser Quest. And in that's very scary, seconds count. You know, right. say, really quick on the draw, quick on the draw. <laughs> Look, here, if you ever find yourself in a situation with a concealed weapon, right? right, right. What you want to do is, yeah. when you draw your weapon... It's great, it's a love this. It's knee laughing, matter. When you draw your weapon, right? Draw your weapon, make it as smooth as you possibly can. So draw, hold, fix and fire, and then just move and fire and move and fire and move and fire and move. And fire and move. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get him, man. Don't get him worked up. Oh. First with the changing of the 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 package, and then the celebrity guest <coughs> fails, and now he's he's scared his uh, manager. This yeah. is not going good. No, right? this is a Monday. A Alan Partridge only has Mondays. Seven Mondays, pretty much his life. A Tuesday if he's lucky. Maybe that's yeah. if he's winning. That's best case scenario. So, uh, do you, want, do you want us to stick out Sue Cook for you? God, no. No, I must say, I'm very grateful you've come over. Big fans of all the Irish stuff. Uh, oh, yeah. whoa, 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 I love whoa, whoa, your pop whoa, whoa, music. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And uh, the other one ripped up the Pope. Bald chap. Is that Graham Lynham? That has to be. Everybody kept giving us crap for not noticing his cameos in both IT Crowd and Father Ted. Look, we're finally recognizing him. There what? he is. All yes. right. All right. There you go. You happy now? We caught one. Man, that's on you because I did not. <laughs> Whatever. Let's see what they got to say. And I think that's it. <laughs> well, it's you, you too, of course. Oh, well, oh, fantastic. Sunday, bloody Sunday. What a great... It encapsulates the frustration of a Sunday, doesn't it? You wake up in the morning, you've got to read all the Sunday papers, the kids are running around, you've got to mow the lawn, wash the car, and you think, Sunday, bloody Sunday. <laughs> I really hate to do this to you, Alan, but it's, a, it's actually a song about... Bloody Sunday is actually about a massacre in Derry in 1972. Massacre? Ugh, not playing that again. <laughs> so it's really... <laughs> horrible hotel who stays in a place like this terrible i knew right away that was not what sunday bloody sunday was about <laughs> just cursing the, the sunday that's what you pulled like, i love it mm. I, of course there's the one person out there that would it'd be alan i know i i can already see the comments from our irish uh viewers it's like them they probably are ready with with it oh you gotta be thanks for pushing the algorithm on youtube for that i mean Oh yeah, Sunday bloody Sunday. Hate those Sundays. It's so sterile here. Yes, it is. The staff are polite, but it's as if their their smiles are painted on. Exactly. Oh, it's very false, isn't it? Mm. The great thing about this hotel is its situation. It, it's equidistant between London and Norwich. That's the genius of its location. Even though I do hate it and I don't live here, <laughs> I just pop in for breakfast. Hello, Ellen. Which is why she knows my name. Hello, Susan. Just clocking the name tag there. Can we have four full British Isles breakfasts, please? Certainly. Dear robot. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if she went into the kitchen, opened a chest up and uh, stuck in a screwdriver and turned a smile up. Mm. It's a nice chest, but full of wires. Do you smell gas? Do you want a mint? The food will probably... Uh, yeah, well, just break it down. They'll break it down, <laughs> yeah. Actually, I'll probably get some ruby grapefruit juice. That, that'll help, too. Mm. We're from an island. Well, Aidan is from Selbridge, which is near oh. Dublin, and I'm originally from West Cork. Oh, whereabouts? Kibberain. Oh, oh I, I used to go there as a little child. <laughs> I, I used to go on nature trails, and I used to spot flowers, and my mummy used to say... There we go! Ruby <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Got to take the whole jug in case it's all quaffed by uh, R2-D2 over there. <laughs> Tea or coffee? Four teas, please. You ever been to Ireland, Alan? No, no, I'd love to go. <laughs> it amazes me when people say that and it's only 49 quid on a plane. I think that's what puts me off. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the small talk. Now let's get down to business. Now, your programme. What's the big idea? Oh, my God, no! Well, the, uh, the big idea is that we want to produce a show that appeals to modern, mainstream audiences on both sides of the Irish Sea. Oh, scary Irish man. Would you like to recruit me? I like your berets. They're worn by Saddam Hussein, Frank Spencer, and the French. The baggage is constantly to celebrate the culture of both countries. Yeah, I think the Irish are going through a major image change. The old image of leprechauns, shamrock, Guinness, yeah. horses running through council estates, you know, toothless simpletons. Oh my God. People with eyebrows on their cheeks. Badly tarmacked drives in this country. Men in platform shoes being arrested for bombings. Lots of rocks and uh, beamish. I think people are saying, yes, there's more to Ireland than this. A good slogan for the tourist board. There's more to Ireland than this. Oh. Thanks very much. This ain't going well. <sighs> Alan, uh. he just opens his mouth and stupid falls out. At least he's consistent. I guess so. He, <sighs> he is consistent. You got to give him that. <laughs> oh, no. Wow. Uh, you blonde bastard. From, from the future. This looks disgusting. Still, might as well eat it. <laughs> So, uh, how many people were killed in the Irish famine? What are you... <laughs> Why would you ask that? Uh, two, two million and another two million had to leave the country. Right. I mean, just the potatoes that were affected. At the end of the day, you will pay the price if you're a fussy eater. <laughs> they could afford to emigrate, then they could afford to eat in a modest restaurant. Oh, my God. Could we come live from the Blarney Stone? I'm trying to get an angle on this. You see, Alan, I, I they're increasingly moving towards an area we want to move away from. Yep. You're absolutely right. Live TV can blow up in your face. Sorry about that. You must be sick of that. <laughs> what? You know, up bombs. Uh, uh, but that's where you make them. I'm cringing so much right now. Uh, I get it. Absolutely amazing. It's like... Uh, <sighs> all right. All right. <laughs> Alan, dude. Yeah. Only a partridge. The fact, the fact that he's the, what? He's, he, he's probably going to be able to walk after this is amazing. Yeah, yeah. Better beat his ass. Like, come on. God. All this way, and it seems to me you're just being a little bit negative. No. No, I was interested in something earlier. Uh, Lynn, what you were talking about when you went to Skibbereen as a child. That was interesting. I wonder no, if could... there's something in yeah. that. Yeah. I'd be interested to know if at the time, did you have any friends or cousins over while you were there? Excuse, Excuse me, Mr. Patches. She might have a problem, actually. Yeah. 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 I think we need to try and... But I don't know, I think that's some interesting... I think if we stick around for the afternoon with Alan Partridge, then uh, afterwards you can talk to Lynn and me about Lynn. Aha! Good afternoon. And what, sorry? <laughs> Couple of gremlins in the system there. Ghost in the machine. Perhaps a metaphor for uh... good evening. Might as well uh, say this now. Sue Cook has pulled out. So if anyone wants to leave, then please. Now's, now's the time. Absolutely. Question from the person over there. Has your career gone off the rails a bit? Uh, no. The, 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 the... In favour of the death penalty. Yes, I am. Uh, for treason and murder. <laughs> Say pedestrianisation of Norwich city centre to anyone and they'll probably look blankly at you or, hello, why do people do that? <laughs> very clever man, both very clever men, but I don't trust them. Uh, Jerry looks like a deputy headmaster and uh, Martin McGuinness looks like a clown without makeup. <laughs> uh, draw the gun from the holster, knock the safety catch off, there's one in the chamber and move it and fire. The terrorist the is disoriented from the stun grenade. He doesn't know what's going on. It's, it's like I have 20 minutes before a major high school project. It, yeah. It, it's <laughs> Albert Partridge is presenting Got right it. now. God, I mean, my God. 
he's he's just touching on every every topic, right? Just all of it. Yeah, just oh. getting all out in once. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> it's like, Why does yeah. it look like the fucking antiques roadshow? Because like, it's mostly older that's people. His, that's his demographic right there. That's awesome. Uh, it's it reminds me of uh, Jonathan History <laughs> oh, and dude. his reign. One hundred percent. Jonathan <laughs> History invented history. Yeah. Everyone knows this. This, you know, I know that far the only video from the past that I actually rewatch. Yeah, yeah, is that one. Yeah, that's the one that survived. Man. That's not musical. Yes. Remember the double tap. Bang bang. Have to neutralize the threat by incapacitating the target. And we do that in two areas. The chest area here, anywhere down the central line, all the major organs are kept. We get one there, he's going down. If you're near enough, you can take a headshot. Again, he's going down. What? Right, I think we've got time for just one more question. Uh, lady at the back. Yes, Alan. I wondered if you had any more Alan Partridge tie and blazer badge combination packs available. Yes, I do. As a matter of fact, I've got one here. There we go. They're available at the back or on reception, priced £19.99, £20. The uh, penny's just uh, price rhetoric. Um, some of the boxes were a bit faded, um, but I've made promises about storage that were not kept. Um, so, the, 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 thank you very much. Goodbye. Sorry, got to go. Oh, there you are. So, uh, what do you think? Uh, well, I wouldn't be depressed. I'm not. Yeah, when you're raiding that old woman, though. Yeah, it was just this look on her face, classic. She was really frightened. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> so, perhaps we could uh, go and chat about all my other ideas in, in my room. In your room? In my room, in my house where I live. Right, where's your house? Just down the road. Our house. Yeah. Do you remember that man who came up in our autograph earlier? No. Good. This is Jed. He's, he's driver. Oh, hello, Jed. How do you do? I'm business partner. Yeah. Oh. Hello. And we live together. Yeah. We're not gay. Oh. <laughs> I'm nothing against them. It's just, uh, as I see it, God created Adam and Eve. He didn't create Adam and Steve. Oh, so, my God. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a homo skeptic. All right, well, whatever. I just would like to get out Be of nice here. Nice to possible. go. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Have you ever seen the film The Crying Game? Yes, I saw. Uh, with the, uh, the old Tadger. Well, the, the sequel will uh, have a man with uh, a fanny. <laughs> oh, this is uh, my house. Where are I? Hey. Nice and away. Uh, what's what's your, uh, you? Bo bowl of bread there. What's that for? Uh, just. Uh... Oh my God! This is terrifying. I bet that someone else lives with uh, this fan. Oh yeah. And it's all going to come crashing down. Oh yeah, dude. Of course. Whether he it be... did. Why? Why? Would... Oh my God! He went to a, a fan's house. Oh, you're dead. You're not getting yeah. out of there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like with this uh, UK, Ireland trip and probably Canada and Nashville, uh, I may not stay with anybody who's offered just out of safety concerns. Yeah. Enough. I mean, that, in this crazy ass world that we live in, man. Yeah. You yeah. Know, we, we lived in the world of, of and gumdrops, but it's too far from that. So. Yeah. Yeah. Have a pint with you or go busking or something, yeah. you know, do the touristy shit, uh, stuff off the beaten path, not, the touristy yeah. shit. I I misspoke, but just for safety reasons, yeah. I probably won't heads, stay with heads stay attached to shoulders. Yes, and I mean it needs to stay attached to uh, mid area too. <laughs> there you go. Crazy. Because <laughs> priorities. Priorities. I'll put kettle on. Right. Um. Should we go into the? Oh, here it goes. Yes, the lounge. Grab a few. There's only the one chair. The other one. Uh, Burnt down. If, if Jed and I are both in the room at the same time, I, I tend to do this. Sort of lean on the wall. Like that. P perched on the arm. That's a good one. I'll try that one. Very nice uh, picture of yourself on the TV. I always leave this here, so that way I'm always on the telly. Ah! Here's the one. This is uh, David Copperfield. Yes, he's an uh, uh, American magician, you know. American. <laughs> yes, he uh, claims to have made the Statue of Liberty disappear. But uh, still there, talking out of his ass. Is that an original? I don't know why I, I, I this painting. It's, it's, it's got a very haunting quality. Man and machine. Uh, I, I mean, I look at this in the morning and think, oh, I'd <laughs> like to kiss her. Do you mind if I use your toilet? By all means. Where is it? Um, it well, I'll show you. <laughs> this is uh, the lobby. Where I like to read the Sunday papers in here. <laughs> and, uh, and... Oh, God. 
never find the light switch in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I believe that's what you might call a stalker. Yo, or get out. Ups Dude, get mm. out of there. Yeah. Oh, it's so man. creepy. That's terrifying. That's like my, like, I imagine. I mean, it would just be like, guys, we got to go. And for that brief moment, you're not putting on a facade. You are getting out of there. Oh, yeah. Just oh, yeah. together. Gonna... Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I am such a big head. Two things. Um, one, you think I'm a bit odd and you'd like to leave immediately. Yes. Okay. Uh, and two, can I come with you? <laughs> Tease off. I'm sorry, we've only got one mug. We don't get a lot of visitors. Uh, I guess you will have the mug. Uh, you'll have to have this milk jug. It's a bit like a mug, only it's got a spout on it. I'll have the coffee jar and there you go, Alan. That's one of those ball things you have in washing machines. That's right, it's called an aerolator. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, I... I would trust that, D. <laughs> no, I, I wouldn't, wouldn't either. It. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. It's probably laced with something. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Terrifying. Yeah. I think I should uh, swallow it whole and uh, sort of slosh around my system, dispensing the coffee. <laughs> The trouble is, it would be uh, quite difficult to swallow and even harder to uh, work on. You don't think my room scared them, do you? I think they might have found it a bit creepy. It must be odd being here in a room surrounded by photos of yourself. It is a bit, yeah. I mean, the Copperfield as well. Not as much as you, though. No, no, I can see that. He's uh, losing the battle for wall space, isn't he? <laughs> Did you uh, take these on a telephoto lens? Yeah. Uh, Grand caller? Yeah. Yep, so. I'm just a fan, Alan. That's all. Your biggest fan. Yeah. <laughs> something. Oh, my God, no. Oh! <laughs> Glory be. Ah! 14 hours. <laughs> I fainted three. Oh, God. What are we looking at here? Uh, this this legendary right here. I feel like people that like I fame and stuff need to watch this episode. Yeah, yeah. That will byproduct. 100%. Oh. Yeah. And I, hope, <clears throat> I pray that we don't have anybody like that. Yeah. Uh, oh, I, I, there's no, 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 no. They don't care about us. They care about our stuff. Yeah, the content. They only the care content. about the content, not us as human beings. That's why we've no matter how many times we advertise our other channels, you still don't go over. No, no. It's it's all right though. We still love, love you despite you being dickheads. You're our dickhead. One hundred percent. Times <laughs> Jess, I I'll laugh with you. I'm really scared. Um, in fact, I think I'll go. No. No, it's okay. I'll go. No, stay, don't what? go. I'll stay. I'll stay. What, 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 what are we gonna do? Let's do an interview. I think that's a great idea. Really? I think it's the best idea <laughs> in the world. Oh, great. Right, but well, you can be David Copperfield. And I'll be Alan Partridge. Oh. <laughs> Look on that. Look at my face. I'm doing a photo shoot for Vision Express. I'll give you a Chinese button. Hey, you bastard. I can't wait. Look, Alan, I just want to be your friend, that's all. I'll be your friend. Oh, great. <laughs> Will you come and see my brother-in-law next weekend? I'd love to. But you can't guess where he lives. Um... Go on, I guess. Uh, N Nottingham? No. Oh. Oh, Tasta, near North Wales, off the M56. No, Leeds! Oh, Leeds. <laughs> you smell gas? Oh, uh, I think that's my breath. <laughs> uh, I just got Jag. Uh, I thought I would have bro broken down by now, but... I think I'm slightly constipated. It's surprising, really, considering the circumstances. Uh, Sorry, Alan. I didn't uh, know. Are you all right? Yeah. So we friends, then? Best friends. <gasps> In the whole world? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Thank you. Oh, the, get out there, Alan. Get out of there. The fact that he's walking out of there is a win. Yeah. It's a win. Yeah. Oh, and my he God. came. He got his car. Oh, oh. man. You know, at that point, you gotta say whatever you gotta say to get out of there, man. You yeah, gotta say, it, you gotta do whatever you gotta do to get the fuck out of there. It's a hostage oh. situation yep. at that point. Oh my god. Now you know where I live. I hope you'll not be a stranger. Oh, does, does that voice? No, won't be one. Okay. Always be a kettle on here. Oh, great. <laughs> see you next week then. We'll have that pint. Yep. We'll see my brother. In no way, you big spastic. You're a mentalist. <laughs> <laughs> 
dead end. Where's the road? <laughs> He's a mentalist. <laughs> wow. Help me, someone. <laughs> oh. oh, what the hell was that? It's a stalker, my guy. Dude, oh my god. Everyone, no, not everyone, most people that know me know that I'm very cautious. Very cautious when it comes to humans. Because uh, I am one. So it's like, I get it. It's be careful. And, oh, I'm even more cautious. And I don't even. All the red flags just completely ignored. But whatever. Yeah. That's what happens. He's actually one of the few fortunate people that get out of those situations. And live to tell the tale, hopefully. <laughs> oh my god, dude. You gotta see a misery. You have to see it. I know you haven't because I didn't see it for a long time. It was a scary movie by Stephen King. Bro, oh my god, what a movie. Terrifying, but oh. like this. Oh. <laughs> god almighty. I guess I have to now. It's interesting, man. It's gonna fucking interesting. Put it on the list. Yeah. And that was awesome. That was I absolutely love this show. I yeah. am 100% a fan of the show, and I, I'm very upset that it doesn't exist in real life. Yeah, we got one more episode of the first series, and then a second series, and then I guess knowing me, knowing you after that, and then we'll go into our next show. Sound good to y'all? Yeah, sounds good to me, man. Sounds like a good yeah. plan right there. Yeah, I like it. Let me know what y'all think. <laughs> yep. And oh, man. Thanks for watching YouTube. There's someone around to subscribe and watch another video. Um, <laughs> Thank you for your patronage. Uh, keep the lights on. Yeah. What did you do after uh, after all this? Guys, uh, make sure you unplug and do something legendary. Yeah. Else end la end up like Alan Partridge's stalker. <laughs> yes. <laughs> See you next time. Later, guys.